I'm Reza Seya in Cairo, and this is CNN. Hello, I'm Jonathan Mann, and this is CNN News Now. Just six hours from now, Israel could begin holding its fire in Gaza. It has declared a brief humanitarian ceasefire, but says it will not apply to the area around Rafah, where army operations are still underway. A UN school sheltering Palestinian families in Rafah came under fire Sunday, killing at least nine civilians. Israel's military says it targeted militants on a motorcycle nearby. It's the third UN school hit in Gaza in 10 days. Ukrainian government forces are closing in on Donetsk, the main stronghold of pro-Russia separatists. They say they've nearly cut the city off from the border with Russia. The deputy mayor of Donetsk says recent fighting has killed six civilians. ISIS militants in Iraq have captured that country's largest dam, putting several cities and millions of people at risk. The Mosul Dam is upstream from Mosul itself, but also to Crete, Beji, and Baghdad. ISIS fighters seized and opened the Fallujah Dam in April, causing extensive flooding. Rescuers in southwest China are frantically searching for any more survivors of a powerful earthquake. Officials say at least 367 people were killed and nearly 1,600 others injured in Yunnan province. Tens of thousands of homes and other buildings were damaged. And that's your CNN News Now. Stay tuned for World Sport with Aaron Hawksworth. Straight ahead.